Hello, critters. Sorry for the lack of a live stream today. I had to deal with my brother all day. Had to go get him out of jail. Had to take him to pay the restoration for his car. Then we had to go get his insurance. And then we had to go get his tags all over again. Since he waited so long, they confiscated his tags. Then we had to go back to the jail and get his ID. Because they don't give that to you to the next day. And I get back home here and the internet's being... <laughs> of the snowstorm so there's no way a stream's gonna happen so i figure i'll make you a small video as minor compensation for that so i'm sorry about that i will see you guys this weekend in another video of course and next week with a live stream by the way i'm getting that otor printer with the linear rails yeah that's on its way to me as well i think you're going to enjoy that so here's some stuff i'm currently working on So here, my sapphire is printing out my maker coins for Murph. You see, these are multicolor maker coins. So the way that works is I load the gold filament, and it then prints just the letters. That's one G-code file. I then load a second G-code file that prints the entire purple coin without the letters. The letters are in empty space. For the first two layers, which is how thick this is, I enable a 0.3 millimeter Z-hop so it doesn't crash into it. And as you can see, it actually prints the coin right around the letters and then continues printing the coin. When it's done, it stops. 0.4 millimeters short of the top, which is just this part here extended 0.4 millimeters above the rest of the model. I load a third G-code file after changing the filament and it prints the last two layers of gold. That's pretty darn cool and pretty darn efficient and allows me to do a whole bunch of maker coins. These will only be available at Murph. So if you don't go to Murph, you can't get one of these. You can get a maker coin, but you can't get one of these. It says Murph 2019. And I'm going to do them all in this color just so it's like a little special edition kind of thing. This is Paramount's um, Decepticon Purple and Filamentum's Gold Happens. Coming up also, I have ginormous Lego Man. Two and a half kilograms of PETG. So that'll be featured soon as well. I'm also working on this gigantic two-piece spiral vase in PETG. Um, I think I'll have to use different colors though. As you can see, there's a huge gap. That's because he enabled a spacing gap for um, fit that he didn't need. And of course, as I scaled this thing bigger and bigger and bigger, it's 500 millimeters tall, that gap became bigger and bigger and bigger. So he just re-uploaded one with a zero tolerance gap, which will work perfectly. So I will be reprinting this, and there will be a video about that soon. Stroop waffles. I finally got some of the Stroop waffles. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I don't think they're that great. I mean, they're okay. They're not bad, but they're not incredible. Also... Alien UFO pieces. Yeah. My Ender 5 with the 0.8 millimeter nozzle printing out another Alien UFO 12 foot mascot piece. I got like five more to print. One of my viewers also bought me that Fab 365 little pig, foldable pig thingy. So I printed that slightly enlarged with the 0.8 millimeter nozzle and it actually worked. Not too shabby. I wasn't sure how that was going to work close to 100% scale, but it worked fine. You can see all the parts move and it locks itself together. That's pretty neat. And thank you very much for actually, you know, buying two of them to send me one. Because you could have just sent me your copy of the STL, which would have ripped the artist off. So I appreciate you doing that. I will be featuring that and giving credit to that person in a video as well. This Ender 5 running a 0.2 millimeter nozzle is printing out my third battalion of mini noobs and mini joels so 3d maker noobs and 3d maker nerds these are the nerds those are the noobs and this battalion is coming out fine they're going to take vengeance for the absolute massacre of second battalion oh my god it was it was a bloodbath it was horrible it was so devastating turns out i was just running too hot for this pla so i lowered the temperature down to 202 celsius which is as you can see working fine i don't see any gaps in the kneecaps which is where it failed before too much heat momentary clog in the nozzle from all the retractions and then it cleared up but of course they were all weak so once you got higher up and the torque on the model increased it snapped them all to kneecaps and it was it was a bloodbath it was a it was a nanite carpet bombing so these guys will take vengeance and we're going to set up some missile launchers to protect them and in here i have another piece of the alien where the alien 3d model going but it failed 
turns out my CR-10S with its custom uh, 1.2 millimeter nozzle cannot do 0 0.08 millimeter layers. As you can see, it munged. It was working fine until it hit the point where I switched to 0 0.08 layers and it just could not handle it. Probably the bottom of my custom drilled nozzle is not perfectly machined flat. And that is probably where the problem is coming from. So I just can't do that fine a layer height with that nozzle. And the reason we can't have a live stream besides me being ridiculously busy until right now is that we have all this garbage and it's making the internet behave very very wonky there's the bus my little electric car my little trailer all that's going to go with me so, yuck and it's heavy slushy crap and it's below freezing so it's all turning to ice just in a little bit of driving we did the whole front of the car is covered in a layer of ice because the water freezing on it with no engine there's no heat so only the cabin stays warm enough to prevent buildup that's it I will see you guys later I'm sorry that I don't have a live stream tonight I wasn't expecting all this crap with him being arrested for not renewing the registration on his car. Well, actually, no, he, his registration got suspended because <laughs> he, didn't, he let his insurance lapse. The state doesn't take kindly to that. He figured, I'll just renew my insurance and that'll be enough. No, they want their money. <laughs> you have to pay them their penalty, their, their, their blood money. So he will learn the hard way. So that is it. Nice view out front to sign off for the night. I will see you guys later.